For millions of women transitioning through menopause, vasomotor symptoms, those disruptive hot flashes and drenching night sweats are an unwelcome reality. These aren't just minor inconveniences, they can severely impact sleep, mood and overall quality of life, often lasting longer than many expect sometimes for five years or more. For years, the primary treatment for severe vasomotor symptoms or VMS has been menopause hormone therapy or MHT. While effective for many, MHT isn't suitable for everyone. And some women prefer non-hormonal options due to personal choice or medical contraindications. Other non-hormonal approaches like certain antidepressants can come with their own set of side effects, limiting their widespread use. But what if there was a new targeted approach? A non-hormonal solution that directly addresses the root cause of these symptoms in the brain. Today, I'm going to explore a groundbreaking class of medications, NK3 receptor or NK3R antagonists. These innovative drugs have the potential to transform the management of menopausal VMS, providing a promising solution for individuals in search of effective and well-tolerated relief. To truly appreciate how NK3R antagonists work, we first need to understand the underlying biology of hot flashes and night sweats. These symptoms are thought to originate in the brain's thermoregulatory center, specifically the hypothalamus. During menopause, as ovarian function declines, estrogen levels fluctuate and eventually fall significantly. This drop in estrogen is widely accepted as the primary trigger for VMS. For a long time, the exact mechanism by which falling estrogen leads to VMS was not fully understood. However, recent research has shed light on a crucial player, the neurokinin signaling pathway. This pathway involving neurokinin B or NKB and its corresponding neurokinin 3 receptors play a vital role in regulating body temperature. In menopausal women, the absence of estrogen leads to an overactivity of this NKB, NK3R pathway in the hypothalamus. The overactivity essentially disrupts the brain's thermostat, leading to the sudden and uncomfortable sensation of heat, sweating and flushing that characterize a hot flash. This is where the NK3R antagonists come in. Unlike traditional hormone therapies that aim to replace estrogen, NK3R antagonists take a different approach. They are designed to blind and block the NK3 receptors in the hypothalamus. By doing so, they effectively calm down the overactive neurokinin signaling pathway, restoring the brain's ability to regulate body temperature properly. Think of it like a thermostat gone haywire these medications help to reset it. Multiple randomized control trials and systematic reviews demonstrate that NK3R antagonists significantly reduce the frequency and severity of VMS compared to placebo. With rapid onset of action, often within days to weeks, and sustained benefits over 12 to 52 weeks. This efficacy is a major breakthrough, especially for women who cannot or choose not to use hormone therapy. While the core mechanism involves blocking the NK3 receptor, there are nuances between different NK3R antagonists. For example, vesalinitin, marketed as Vioza, is a selective NK3R antagonist, meaning it primarily targets only the NK3 receptor. On the other hand, Elizinotent, another promising compound currently under review, is a dual neurokinin-1 and neurokinin-3 receptor antagonist. This means it blocks both NK1 and NK3 receptors. The NK1 receptor is known to be involved in anxiety and depression, suggesting that dual antagonists like elizinotent might offer additional benefits beyond just BMS relief, potentially addressing some of the mood disturbances often associated with menopause. The most significant milestone in this new class of drugs came in May 2023 when the US FDA approved vesalinitin, making it the first in-class non-hormone therapy specifically for moderate to severe VMS. Its approval was based on robust clinical trials demonstrating its efficacy and safety. Hot on the heels of vesalinitin is another promising NK3R antagonist, elizinitin, developed by Bayer. It recently had its new drug application submitted to the FDA. Elizinotent has shown positive safety and efficacy results in its Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3 OASIS studies. These studies are crucial for evaluating the drug's effectiveness and potential side effects before it can be made available to the public. 
Furthermore, elizinitin is also being evaluated in another study called Nirvana, specifically looking at its efficacy for sleep disturbances, often associated with menopause, which could be an added benefit given its dual NK1, NK3 receptor antagonism. As with any new medication, safety is a paramount concern. Early in the development of NK3R antagonists, one compound, ME4901, was discontinued due to transient elevations in liver transaminase enzymes in some study populations. However, it's important to note that this effect is believed to be unique to MLE4901's specific chemical structure and not a class effect of all NK3R antagonists. Other NK3R antagonists that differ structurally, as previously noted, have not exhibited comparable liver toxicity. In fact, the OASIS studies for elizinitin incorporated a 52-week follow-up specifically and establishing long-term safety, yielding reassuring data concerning the overall safety profile of this new drug class. NK3R antagonists are typically well tolerated with the most common adverse side effects being mild, such as headaches, gastrointestinal issues, and temporary asymptomatic elevations in liver enzymes. Serious adverse events are infrequent, and no increased risk of hormone-dependent cancers, thromboembolism, or cardiovascular events has been identified in trials conducted to date. Check out this table comparing the two NK3R antagonists' safety and efficacy. Ongoing research and post-market surveillance will further elucidate the long-term safety and efficacy of these medications across diverse populations. So what makes NK3R antagonists such a significant advancement in menopause management? Their primary advantage lies in being non-hormonal treatment option. This is crucial for women who have contraindications to hormone therapy, such as a history of certain cancers, blood clots, or liver disease. It also provides an alternative for those who simply prefer to avoid hormonal interventions. Furthermore, the targeted mechanism of action means that these drugs specifically address the neurobiological pathways responsible for VMS without affecting other hormonal systems in the body. The potential for long-term use, supported by ongoing safety studies, means women can experience sustained relief from their symptoms, significantly improving their daily lives and overall well-being. For many, this new class of medication feels a crucial unmet need offering effective relief where previous options were either unsuitable or insufficient. In summary, NK3R antagonists represent a truly exciting development in the landscape of menopause management. By specifically targeting the neurokinin-3 receptors in the brain, these non-hormonal medications offer effective relief from debilitating hot flashes and night sweats that affect so many women with ongoing research continuing to explore their full potential and long-term benefits. If you or someone you know is struggling with menopause vasomotor symptoms, talk to your healthcare provider about whether NK3R antagonist might be a suitable option for you. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into this innovative treatment. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a like, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to my channel for more content on women's health and medical advancements. Thank you for watching and see you next time.